okay <clears throat> so good morning to everyone now in the last class we have discussed about the interface and in this interface we have discussed about that the interface can be the static and final so static we already know about that static but today we will know what is the final keyword now this final keyword can be used before the variable or can be used before the method or can be used before the class so in this they can be this final keyword can be used now if the final keyword is used before variable that means that will be the final variable now if the before the variable the final keyword is used then that means the value of that variable cannot be changed during the scope of the program that means throughout this scope of the program its value cannot be changed now if it is used before the method then that means that method cannot be overridden that means overriding cannot be done for if a method is before a method final keyword is used then that method cannot be override and if before the class before the class the final keyword is used that means that class cannot be inherited that means the inheritance concept we have seen that the child class extends the parent class now if in the parent class name the final before the parent class name final keyword is used then that means child class cannot inherit that parent class this is the concept of the final keyword now through program we will understand it let's say this is a our uh, final uh, our example of the final variable that how this final variable works now this is what a class is given and this is the name of the class that we are taking the name of the class as the final var now here you see this is the variable int i that means i is the integer type and its value is assigned as 10 and before you see before the variable we use the final keyword you see before the uh, variable we used final keyword then here we uh, our done a uh, use a constructor and this is what the name of the class and the constructor name is equal so that's why this is what this is our constructor and what is the purpose of this constructor in the program the purpose of the constructor in this program is it is incrementing the value i equal to i plus 10 now in the main class you see in the main class inside the main we have done what we have created the object of the final var class that means this final var class object we created and the name of the object is f1 that means final var f1 f1 is the object of the final var class equal to new final var now when this will be executed that means what we are creating the object of the final var class so that means the execution the execution will directly go to the constructor that is present in the final var class now inside this final var class they are you finding that i equal to i plus 10 that means i value is incrementing but there is a error occurred why there will be the error occurred because we have said that if before the variable final keyword is given that means that variable value cannot be changed but here this constructor is doing what this constructor is incrementing the value this is i equal to i plus 10 that's mean i value is increased i value is increasing but what i have said that if before the variable the final keyword is given that means throughout the scope of the program that value cannot be changed so here it will be show the error so this is the example if we use final keyword before the five before the variable this is the 
example next we will see that if the final keyword if it is before used before the final method if it is used before the final method now here if we convert this program that let's say this is a program named final method class final method and it has a value int i equal to 10 and we are declaring declaring a method that name is m1 and before that we are giving the final before that we are giving the final keyword and what is the purpose of this con our, our method this method is doing it is printing the statement final this is the working of this method that it is printing final now when in the child class in the child class you see in the child class we extending the final me final method class child class extends the final method that this final method is what this is the parent class now the child class is doing what child class is extending this final method class and inside it what we are doing we are overriding the method that means here in the parent class what it is mentioned that void m1 it will print system.out.println final but here this method in the child class what we are doing that this method we are overriding in the child class that means void a1 and we are writing system.out.println child that means the statement child will be printed so here you see in both the classes the our method name is same our method name is same and what we are doing we are overriding that method but what we have said that if before a method final keyword is used that means in the parent class in parent class any method is present and before that method final keyword is given that means this method will do what when we will try to override that method in the child class this will not happen because before a method a final keyword is given that means that method cannot be overridden so this is the problem occurred when we want to execute that program because it will show error that we have already declared the, the method which we are overriding it is in the parent class we have declared that method as the final but we are trying what we are try, trying that overriding that method in the child class though it is declared as final so it is not possible to override this particular method so this is the error it will show during if we execute that particular program and if it is declared before the class if before the class the final keyword is given that means let's say before like this this is the class name and before that class we have declared final now here this is the constructor this is the constructor we use because final one is the name of this method this is and the class name is also final one that means this is what this is the constructor so this constructor is doing what this constructor is printing the statement final and when in the child class what we are doing in when we use this statement class child extends final one that means final one is the parent class and this final one parent class this child class wanted to extend but it will not also possible because if we use final before the class that means that class cannot be inherited though this parent class which we have declared this final one and you see before that final one class we have already already used the final keyword that that means this class cannot be inherited so this is the example of if we want to execute then also the error will be shown because we have already mentioned that whichever class we are taking that class we have mentioned final so the parent class if a parent class is declared as final then that parent class cannot be inherited so this is the if we ex try to execute that program then it will also show the error so this is what this three ways this final keyword can be used 
these three ways before the variable, before the method, and before the class. Okay. It is clear to everyone. Yes, sir. Okay. Now we will move for the member access modifier. Now member access modifier is whatever we have seen that we have access modifier that is public, private, protected. These are the access specifier we have already seen. Now there is another it you may consider or not that is you can also some ways it can be considered but mainly we have three types that is the public private and protected In the first type if the member variables have no access modifier that means nothing is mentioned nothing is mentioned before that is the no access modifier then what it will be the compiler will automatically use the default access modifier now, if we doesn't anything doesn't mention public, private, protected, if anything doesn't mention, that means compiler will use a default access modifier. Now, this default access modifier basically works same, same process like public, because if nothing is mentioned, then default, it will be worked. So that means you see through an example, we see that here, a class is mentioned and inside it, a variable we have declared it, int i equal to 10. And here is the method, a method we have mentioned. And this method is doing what? This method is printing the value of i. That whatever the i value we have used, that value is printing by this method. This is the working of this method. Now, class child extends parent class child extends parent. So that means it is extending, it is inheriting the parent class. So inheriting the parent class means what? We have already seen that if and that method in our child class, we override that method. Now this method can Okay, so the we are discussing that now the child class is doing what? The child class is extending the parent class. So whenever the child class will extend the parent class, that means the method that is present in the parent class, we can override that method in our child class. And if it is declared final, then it is not possible. But if it, the method is not declared as final, then we can override normally. So here there is not uh, not mentioned final before the before it. So that means this method can be override. We are able to override. And here also we are doing what? Here also this method we are printing the value of i. The i that is mentioned we are printing the value. Now when in the main inside the main what we will do? We will use the we will create the our object object of the child class that means this child class object we are creating so child c1 equal to new child that means the object we have created and with this object we are calling the method the method name is met that means we are calling the method so when we will call the method that this method will be called and the value of i will be printed so that means i value is what we have uh, declared that 10 we have declared. So that means the i value 10 will be printed. Now, there is the thing that this i value is accessible in the child class also. Because default access modifier works like the, like a most public, it works like that. So if the value is declared as public, that means it can be accessible in another class also or from anywhere. This is the thing that's why I have mentioned, if you remember that there I have mentioned public static void main because when 
at first the compilation start jvm doesn't have any class jvm doesn't have class or object that time so that means ob object will be created and through this object the method will be called that is not possible when this jvm is start then that time if we didn't declare the main method as public then it is not possible to run your program that's why in main we have always use the access modifier as public same as that here also if default is any uh, access modifier we didn't given that means also it is worked like the public and this value can be accessible in the child class and from anywhere this is the difference next next access modifier we will see that is the public or protected this is the public or protected sir now hmm bolo sir isme hum log ye class ko koi method ko call kiye sir baki lekin jo example tha final ka jo example tha usme sir hum log call kisi ko nahi kiye the final final mein final mein bhi final mein to hum call nahi kar payenge फाइनल कोई मेथड जो है उस मेथड को हम लोग तो ओवर ही नहीं कर पाएंगे इसमें देखो इसमें क्या है कि मेथड को हम ओवर कर सकते हैं क्योंकि मेथड जो है मेथड में हम लोग क्या है कि मेथड के आगे हम कुछ फाइनल वाइनल नहीं लिखे हैं तो मतलब इस मेथड को हम कॉल कर सकते हैं कोई दिक्कत नहीं मगर जब भी मेरा फाइनल लिखा होगा मेथड के आगे तो मतलब उस मेथड को हम कॉल नहीं कर सकते उस मेथड को ओवर तो नहीं कर सकते हम तो हमको जब उसका आउटपुट देखेंगे तो एरर शो करेगा क्या एरर तो जो एरर होता है वो एक्सेप्शन टाइप का होता है वो एक्सेप्शन भी हम आज ही पढ़ाएंगे वो एक्सेप्शन शो करेगा कि तुम जो करने चाह रहे हो फाइनल में ये जो है वो पेरेंट क्लास में फाइनल ऑलरेडी डिक्लेयर है तो उसको हम ओवर नहीं कर सकते ऐसे एरर शो कर देगा यही डिफरेंस है और कुछ डिफरेंस नहीं ठीक है क्लास पब्लिक for this int i and we are using protected protected access modifier for the value int j now this is the method void m1 we are using this is the method name and in this method what this method is doing this method is printing the value of i and j both value they are printing the value of i and j they are printing now what let's say uh, this class another class we are taking the child class and this child class is extending this class this parent class it is extending so that means we will override the method because when it will be extend that means we can able to override that method so here we are overriding the method and here this method is doing what it is also printing the value of i and j this is doing now in the main we have created the child class now in inside the main we have created the object of the child class that means this class object we have created now through this object it will call the m1 method so that means child c1 equal to new child c1 is the object of the child class c1 is the object of the child class so that means to access the method to access the method we have to call this method using the object so c1 is the child class object so if we want to access this child class method that means through the object through the child class object we will access the m1 method so we have created the child class object and through this object we are calling the m1 method now when during the execution how it will be executed so that means first it will see that the child class object is created and through this child class object m1 method is called so child class object means what it will start searching that m1 method is present in the child class or not so the execution goes here 
yes it is fine that m1 is already present in the child class now it will go inside the executions will go inside to the method and inside the method what it is doing it is printing the value of i and j so i and j value will be printed and i and j value is 10 and 20 is printed but the difference when this difference will be arise now the difference between public and private public and protected access between the two different or not that means if the this class let's say this is class we want to access the our our parent class is we are doing that if it is different Okay, so that means that the thing we are discussing that if now let's say this are present the classes, the class we have here used, this class are present in different package. Let's say parent class is present in a package and that class, the child class is present in another package. Now, if they are present in different package, then the problem will happen. Now, what problem will happen? Because protected means what? Protected means they should be present. Protected means what? It will work like public if it is present in the same package. But protected means what? Protected variable can only accessible for different package if it inherits the parent class. But public variable is always accessible. That means here, the thing is the difference is what if a variable is declared as protected then it can be only accessible for different package for different package the protected if we use the protected then it cannot be accessible only in one condition only in one condition it will be accessible if a variable is declared protected then only in one condition it can be accessible for different package. That is, if the parent class, if it inherits the parent class. Now here you see the example, the child class is extending the parent class. That means inheritance is occurring. So if it is occurring, then only the protected can be accessible for if it present in different package also. Because protected means what? That the class that should be present in the same package, then we can only able to access the variable. But the only condition is what if a, there is protected and they are in the different package also, but they are inheriting. That means child class is inheriting the parent class. Then only in the condition, it can be accessible. Otherwise it cannot be accessible. Public means it accessible from anywhere. Protected is what? Protected is it can be accessible if the class, the two classes that are present in the same package, then only it can accessible. But if they are in the different package, it cannot be accessible. But note down that like there is one condition, then the protected, if it is protected and it's present in the different package then also can be accessible there is only one condition that is if the child class is extending the parent class now let's say if we take this example and the class that we are using they are present in the different package then also i, I have said that protected means the, if they are present in the different package then cannot be accessible but here this class can can be accessible because if it is present in the different package, you see here the child class is extending the parent class. That means inheritance is occurring. So if inheritance condition is there, then only if it is present in different package also, protected variable can be accessible. So this is the difference between the public and protected. Okay, public means generally it can be accessible from anywhere. 
protected means that only in same package it can be accessible different package it cannot be accessible only exception one condition that is what that is if child class is extending the parent class then only if it is present in different package then also it can be accessible so this is the difference between the public and protected and private means what private is that that it cannot be accessible the difference is private access modifier that is if we declared the value or the variable value as the private then it cannot be accessible because if you see that here in the class in this class we are doing what in this class the value the value which we have mentioned we have declaring it as a private now this i value only accessible inside this class only only present in this class within the scope of this class this is accessible but outside this class it cannot be accessible because now you see whenever this is extending and we printing here the value of i now when we will create in the child class in the child class through uh, object of the child class when we are calling the m1 method that means this execution will go here this execution it will go here now here the value we want the print that is the i value now this i value is used as a private so that means this child class cannot accessible that i value it is only only accessible within that class within the parent class it accessible but that value cannot be accessible within our child class so that's how when it will try to execute the program it will show the error so this is what the difference between public private protected private means it can only be accessible inside the class other other than that class in which it decide in that class only it can access but from anywhere it cannot be accessed other than that class in which it is present and public means it can be accessed from anywhere protected is some difference that it can be accessed only if it is present in the same package but exception for one condition that is what if it is present in different package also and the child class is extending the parent class then only it can be accessible so this is the three difference this is the difference between this three access modifier public private and protected okay clear hello sir hello sir sir in this program why it is showing error it is, it is showing error that what i have mentioned that private is only accessible within inside this class because private means what if we declared any variable value as private that means this int i equal to 10 it is only valid within this parent class and here what we are doing we are trying to here class child extends parent that means this parent class we are extending this parent class we are extending in the child class and inside it we what we are doing inside it we are printing trying to print the value of i now i is what i is declared as private private means i value can only be printed inside this class and can only be accessible inside this class from if it is inheriting also then also i value cannot be we can i value we cannot print because i value is declared as private if it is declared as public then we can only accessible or else it can declared as protected and let's say uh, we declared is as protected then also we can access but whether it is pres uh, as a mentioned as a private so that's why we cannot access it private means within the scope of this class it is accessible but outside this class the i value cannot be accessible so that's why when we trying to when we execute in that time our searching goes here first so here when this m1 method will be called inside this it is printing the value of i 
Now this value, where it will get? It will get, it will trying to get from this parent class. Now inside this parent class, it will see that the value is mentioned as private. So that means we cannot access that value. So that's why the error is shown. Now, if let's say, let's say that if you want to uh, use that accessible inside this class, then only the private value we will use. If we want to access in, in this class, then only it value is present or can be accessible. Other than this class, the value is not accessible. It, if you say that directly wants to access the value, that means if in the main class, let's say uh, we, can, we didn't create the child class object and we create the parent class object, that means this class object we created and with this, this object M1 method we called, then also the value cannot be shown. Why? Because the value is declared as private. So main, the main function, the main function is deciding in another class. So that's why from that class, we want to access our I value. And this I value is already mentioned as private. That means this cannot be accessible. So only within this class, this value is accessible. Other than this class, it cannot, this value is not accessible to anywhere. Okay, so that's why the error is shown. मतलब सर ये इसको ऑब्जेक्ट बनाकर भी इसको कॉल नहीं किया जा सकता प्राइवेट में ना ऑब्जेक्ट बनाकर भी इसको कॉल क्योंकि प्राइवेट अगर तुम मेंशन कर दिए ना तो मतलब इसके अंदर ही सिर्फ इसका तुम्हारा रिसाइडिंग है हाँ इसके अंदर ये वैलिड है इसके अंदर ये वैलिड है तुम इसके अंदर अगर मानो कि तुम एक्सेस करने चाह रहे हो आई वैल्यू को तो ठीक है कोई दिक्कत नहीं तुम एक्सेस कर सकते हो मगर यही है इसीलिए कभी देखोगे नहीं हम लोग प्राइवेट जल्दी से यूज करते हैं कभी प्राइवेट नॉर्मली जब प्रोग्रामिंग भी करते हैं या जो भी प्रोग्राम में देखोगे नॉर्मली देखोगे हम भी जो प्रोग्रामिंग दिखाए कभी देखे वो प्राइवेट जो हम जो लैब क्लास में देखा कि वैल्यू को हम प्राइवेट डिक्लेयर किए हम क्या किए कोई डिक्लेयर ही नहीं किए दैट मीन्स डिफॉल्ट तो डिफॉल्ट अगर हम क्या है डिफॉल्ट भी लाइक पब्लिक की तरह ही काम करते हैं तो मतलब अगर कुछ मेंशन नहीं करोगे तो वो डायरेक्टली क्या है पब्लिक को ले लेते हैं डिफॉल्ट एज ए डिफॉल्ट तो सबसे बेस्ट है सबसे बेस्ट है जब ऑब्जेक्ट ओरिएंटेड प्रोग्रामिंग हम लोग करते हैं तो बेस्ट है सब वैल्यू और मेथड को क्या है हम लोग पब्लिक रखे तो पब्लिक रखने का क्या इजी प्रोसेस है कि ये जो वैल्यू है क्योंकि ऑब्जेक्ट और रियल लाइफ ऑब्जेक्ट में क्या है रियल लाइफ प्रोग्रामिंग में तुमको मेनी क्लासेस का तुम्हारा जरूरत हो सकते है अब इस क्लास को क्या है उस क्लास से कुछ वैल्यू लेना है या उस क्लास से तुमको कोई वेरिएबल का वैल्यू लेना है वो मेथड को कॉल करना है तब ये जो पब्लिक अगर रखोगे ना तुम्हारा कोई टेंशन नहीं होगा तुम डायरेक्टली उसको एक्सेस कर सकते हो तो इसीलिए बोलते हैं कि बेस्ट वे है कि उसको तुम पब्लिक रखो पब्लिक रखोगे तो कोई हेडेक नहीं है प्रोटेक्टेड रखोगे तो भी थोड़ा हेडेक है कि तुमको देखना है कि अगर वो जो है उसके अंदर इनहेरिटेंस का प्रॉपर्टीज है कि या नहीं तभी उस वैल्यू को तुम एक्सेस कर सकते हो ये भी तुमको हो सकता है ये भी तुम्हारा हेडेक है और देखना होगा कि सेम पैकेज के अंदर ही रहना है सब क्लास जो है सेम पैकेज के अंदर ही रहना है तभी उसको एक्सेस कर सकते हैं हम तो ये प्रॉब्लम के वजह से क्या है तो हम लोग ऑलवेज जो प्रोग्रामिंग है प्रेफर करते हैं कि उसको पब्लिक रखे हाँ प्रोटेक्टेड और प्राइवेट हम कब रखते हैं कि कुछ कुछ वैल्यू का मानो जरूरत है कि हम प्राइवेट वैल्यू किसी को डिक्लेयर करती है अब उसको क्या है कि तुम तुम्हारा जब तुम रियल लाइफ प्रोग्रामिंग करोगे तो उसमें क्या है कि इस वैल्यू का अभी जरूरत नहीं है तो मगर तुम जब इनहेरिट कर रहे हो तो क्या है वो सभी प्रॉपर्टीज जो है वो इनहेरिट हो जा रहा है अगर तुम उसको प्राइवेट करके रखो तो उस मेथड या वैल्यू तुम्हारा इनहेरिट नहीं होगा तो मगर क्या है तब टोटल जो है जब प्रोग्रामिंग हम लोग करते हैं तो टोटल जब इनहेरिटेंस करते हैं सभी प्रॉपर्टीज और बिहेवियर एक्सटेंड हो जाते हैं मगर तुम चाह रहे हो तुम एज ए प्रोग्राम चाह रहे हो कि ये वैल्यू और ये वेरिएबल जो है या मेथड जो है वो मेरा नहीं चाहिए वो जैसे है वैसे ही रख, रखना है तो उसको क्या है तुम प्राइवेट कर दो तुम्हारा हेडेक तब कम हो जाएगा ये वैल्यू का जरूरत नहीं है स्पेस का भी तब क्या होगा स्पेस का भी इशू नहीं होगा तो ये सब वजह से क्या है प्राइवेट तब हम लोग यूज करते हैं नॉर्मली प्राइवेट हम लोग कभी प्रोग्रामिंग में यूज नहीं करते नॉर्मल प्रोग्रामिंग
ओके इट इज क्लियर टू एवरी वन यस ओके सो द टाइम इज एंडिंग नाउ देन आई विल टेक अनदर क्लास the uh, next class so rejoin in the same link and i will take another class of yours